Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about something that I came across on social media that was truly so jarring and so scary to me because it reminds me of a plot of a movie. Michigan woman charged with targeting own daughter in catfishing scheme. A Michigan woman was hit with felony charges this week for her role in an elaborate catfishing scheme that targeted her own daughter, which she later tried to blame on other teens. See what? Okay. Let's just keep going and I'll scream later. Kendra Gail Licari, 42, of Mount Pleasant, was arrested and charged Monday with two counts of stalking a minor, two counts of using a computer to commit a crime, and one count of obstruction of justice, the Morning Sun reported. The case against Licari is the culmination of a year-long investigation that started with a December 2021 complaint to Beale City Schools that Licari's daughter and her then-boyfriend were being cyberbullied. The harassment allegedly began in early 2021, Isabella County Prosecutor David Barbary told the outlet Monday. Day. At the time the report was made, Lakari was employed by Beale City Schools as a girls basketball coach. Barbary confirmed Lakari and the other student's mother cooperated with school officials in the initial investigation. Because most of the harassment did not take place on school property and did not use school devices, the district passed the complaint on to local law enforcement in January 2022. We're going to get to the whole it being the mother of said student young person who was cyberbullied being the bully. We'll get to that. But the sole fact that this woman was also a basketball coach scares the shit out of me. I think we've all dealt with an unpleasant teacher before. Now, obviously toxic and unpleasant are not the same thing. Considering this person was fine with cyberbullying their own kid, I kind of have to wonder if they weren't a toxic coach as well, or if they masked that or turned off that toxicity at their job. Because I know that in the past, I've had coaches that I would say weren't toxic, but were very much on the line of like, okay, you know, if you're making us throw up because we've ran super suicides back and forth too many times at basketball practice. Is there a problem there? Probably. So the fact that this person had an active role in young people's lives, that also very much scares me. But hopefully there aren't any other victims of this kind of targeted behavior. The fact that she was part of the investigation in terms of like being a contributing factor and also probably pretending to want to help and be so shocked that this is happening. There's just too much here. See, this is why I said it reminds me of a movie, just the layers. Lakari was eventually identified as the culprit in late spring when FBI analysts identified her IP addresses as those used to send the cruel messages. Barbary told the Morning Sun that his office had since compiled 349 pages of text and social media correspondence implicating Lakari. Neither of the prosecutor's office nor Beale City's school superintendent, William Chillman, immediately returned the post's request for comment. In addition to bullying the teens, Lakari accused of using virtual private networks in an attempt to frame her daughter's peers. So we have a mother cyberbullying her daughter, and then on top of that, she tried using a VPN in order to pretend that she was one of her daughter's peers in order to cyber bully her. That is absolutely insane to me. And then the other thing, and this is just me being a little bit petty, but how did she have the time? Like this sounds like it takes a lot of time. Like, yeah, connecting to a VPN, whatever, but sending all this crap. And I think this about any type of cyber bullying, cyber harassment, it's like, where do you have the time to do this? Unless you don't have a life at all in the sense of you don't have a job, you don't have responsibilities, you're not doing anything all day. I just don't know how you can, first of all, cyber bully someone. It's obviously fucked up. That's obvious. I don't think that has to be stated. So I'm talking about everything else. As a person, I just don't know how you can even justify to yourself, aside from the fact that you're hurting someone, how you can justify instead of sitting down, watching a movie, watching a show, talking with my friends, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send these hateful ass messages to someone for no reason. And even if you did have a reason, don't send hateful messages. When confronted with evidence against her, Lakari reportedly made a full confession. She was released on a $5,000 bond following her arraignment on Monday. While she has not divulged the motive for her actions, she's due back in court on December 29th to determine if there is sufficient evidence to proceed with a trial. Using a computer to commit a crime it carries a possible 10-year sentence, while stalking a minor and obstructions of justice carry five-year penalties. Attempts to reach Lakari on Friday 
were unsuccessful. So she's due back in court tomorrow as of when I'm posting. We're gonna see if there's a trial. I just have so much to say here because there are so many questions surrounding the issue in the sense of the cyberbullying, we've kind of covered that. But I also wonder as a parent, was she being this toxic in ways we don't know and have records for? You know what I mean? Was she being a good parent? Which I think the answer or the conclusion we'd all draw is no, because how can you be a good parent if you then decide to cyber bully your child? So then there's also the question of what was going on at home? Behind closed doors, how was she treating her daughter? Were there other toxic behaviors towards the daughter or worse, abusive behaviors? Because if she's willing to go to these lengths to send these shitty ass toxic bullying messages, what was she doing at home then? The thing that makes me wonder if at home there was a facade put on is just like, if she was being this horrible at home, why would she have to pretend to be a peer online to cyber bully her daughter unless she wanted her daughter to feel attacked on all sides. I don't really see what the goal here was aside from just being cruel. But this story truly baffled me because it's so absolutely fucking jarring. And this is what I mean when I say some people should not be parents because this type of behavior is fucked up. But more than anything, I hope that there's another parent or a family member or someone this kid can go live with because the mother doesn't go to jail or has any type of repercussion that includes her being away from her daughter. I hope that her daughter would have the possibility to go stay with someone else. I would frankly hope that the judge in the sentencing would make that part of the deal. The daughter has to be with someone else and that there has to be even potentially no contact because I think that's really frightening for the daughter's mental health. And even in terms of the daughter's mental health, healing from something like this, I can't imagine. As someone who's experienced bullying back in my youth, I understand to some degree, obviously only to some degree, what that's like and how difficult that is to get over and to move on from. But to add this extra thing of the bully being your parent, the bully being someone in your house who sees how upset you are and keeps doing it, that is so perverse and so sick and I don't even know how you even begin to process that, which is why I hope that this kid ends up with someone who is healthy and helpful and gets her all the resources in order to get past something like this via therapy. It's truly, shit like this, it doesn't seem like it in the sense of I feel like people don't talk about it a lot with bullying, but it can lead you down so many fucked up paths that effectively either hurt you in the immediate or long term. Self-harm, substance abuse, all of these things can start with this. So it's really to be taken seriously and it's frankly fucking scary that someone would do this. Anyway, you guys can let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always and I'll catch you guys next time.